The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter? Lotech thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community, and someone has to nurse her back to hell. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? <laughs> Rufus? Rufus. <laughs> huh? Oh, what? Yeah. Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. The girl belongs to me. That'll be determined by the mayor. Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry, and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. I see. <laughs> now I'm hungry. <laughs> no... Really? Let me go first. Listen, Rufus. A minute ago, that was a nice little joke. But now, it's half annoying. And half sad. Aww. No, really. Let me go first. Listen, Rufus. A minute ago, that was... But now... And half... Okay, so we're just repeating at this point. I'll skedaddle. I wonder if uh, we get different dialogue for these two. I'll skid out. Mitchek has been different. No, I'll Mitchek apparently out. just does not speak. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she. I get the feeling it's supposed to be a she, but I really don't know. Um, post office? The post office! <coughs> the post office is closed until further notice. Until when? Until the sign says... Then it's open! But there's no clock there. Very observant. And now... Get away from that door! <laughs> Lottie, you are very funny. Every office needs a good soul. Maybe someone should tell the mayor. Yeah. Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. Hmm... Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar... <clears throat> yeah. Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's always the same. <laughs> always the same. <laughs> a beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the voiceover for <laughs> uh, bloody hell! <laughs> they must have had some serious fun recording that. Wow. Uh. I want to see the mayor. Everyone, <coughs> everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when you your number comes <laughs> up! No exceptions. Not even for me? Especially not for you! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzel. Wenzel is also applying? But Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions. Okay, so we obviously steal Wenzel's ticket or persuade him to give his to us. I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. 
Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today! The, <clears throat> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. Why do I somehow get the feeling that the mayor is going to be Lottie or something? I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you! There's no way we can be allowed into the assembly, alright? Or we it's totally Go. fine. I have to talk to her. She's gotta know who her savior is. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. Oh boy. What? Come on! Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! <laughs> The coffee that could be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Okay. That cutscene may have just been... The best thing I've seen in weeks. That was pure gold. That was that. Yeah, that, that was just gold. I don't think I can give it any other description other than that. That was brilliant. Gizmo is a doctor, police officer, and firefighter all at once. On his best days, he has to change professions every other second. Doctor Gizmo, what now? Will she fully recover? She'd need to wake up first to be able to tell. Well, why don't you wake her up then? Well, it's not that easy. I've already tried every stimulant I could find in my medicine cabinet. None of those were strong enough. She needs something much, much stronger. Something much, much stronger. Hmm. Sounds like a job for me. I am much, much stronger after all. I will save her. Ha! Good luck. Did you bring some kind of miracle stimulant by any chance? Something that might wake her up? A kind of cup of coffee to the nth order? I'm working on it. Good, but do it someplace else. I do have to say, do you have a stimulant for me? Really? Um. Okay, so some of these are to actually do something to her. As in, give her a, a crazy strong cup of coffee or something? Um. Because he probably wouldn't let you or something. I don't know. What are you waiting for? Help her! I would love to, but self-professed acquaintances of the patient are constantly interrupting me in my efforts. <laughs> self-professed acquaintances. That sounds funny. <laughs> self-professed acquaintances. <laughs> Think you can say that a thousand times in a row? <laughs> Why should I? I could even say get lost a thousand times in a row and you wouldn't get it. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a dunce, but uh yeah, just notice the typo there. Or at least the, you know, the words being spoken not matching up to the subtitles, but uh yeah, it's very very minor. 
Um, no. Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hmm. Not literally. How peacefully she sleeps. This calls for extra strong coffee. Hey, goal, goal, wakey, wakey. <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. Yes, yes, you are. There's a button here, or it's a doorknob even. Huh, obviously there's a preparation for a celebration going on. Bad la... Uh, something. Rube. Huh? Huh? Sounds about right. The balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for. And why my face is on some of them. <laughs> oh... Oh, that's yeah, nice one, nice one. I'm I'm sure that you get the joke, right? I'm sure you get the joke. Uh, yeah. If you don't, then just think about it. Just think about it. I'm not even gonna give you any hints because it should be pretty obvious. And, you know, if it isn't, then uh, you can just ask in the comments. If if someone does, then don't spoil it. G give a hint or something, though. It, I am pretty sure. I, I, I think most of you are smart enough. At least. Uh, right, so let's go to Wenzel, I, I suppose, to see the mayor, even though I don't really know why we want to save the mayor, or speak to the mayor. Because we can access her anyway. Let's see if we can. Wenzel should this probably be... Wenzel's house. He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled, because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking and get crying fits. Why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. Wenzel! Hey, Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait. What? Isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. <laughs> <laughs> Wenzel turns out to be a douchebag. I love it. How the hell did you manage to open the trunk? Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. But the only thing in there was this weird stick. That's my father's divining rod. You think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. He found the water vein Kuvak's built on with this very rod. Yeah. Well, if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? Eh, I haven't the slightest idea. Have you heard about that woman from Elysium? Who hasn't? This wouldn't have anything to do with you by any chance. Hey, you know me. Wherever there's a woman that needs rescuing, I'm there. You're right. There really does seem to be a connection. That was a really interesting tone there, Wenzel. 
I was there when the girl fell from the sky. It's all right. I'm sure it was just an accident. No, you're getting this all wrong. I saved her. Of course.